Welcome back everyone. This is Kylie the Curly Crafter and today is Craftmas Day 7. I have a super exciting video for you guys today because I'm going to bring to you guys a super awesome gingerbread fake bake. Today we will be making, drum roll please, a three tiered gingerbread fake bake cake. I mean look how adorable it is. And if you want to make the same exact item, stay tuned in this video and let's get fake baking. For the base of our fake gingerbread cake, we need three different sizes of styrofoam and this is the pack that I got off of Amazon to use for it. So last night I actually started frosting my three tiers and my camera malfunctioned so I don't have any of the footage. Therefore this morning I had to go to Walmart and I got these four pieces of styrofoam that I'm going to assemble and then show you guys how to frost it and then after I frost this then we are going to go back to our already finished frosted pieces and continue to decorate our three tiered cake. Let's get started. In order to frost the cake, you are going to need some lightweight spackle. So I just have some inside of this container that I am going to be using. I also added in some snow white paint from Apple Barrel just to make sure that it is going to be white frosting and that when it dries, it doesn't give it a hue of a different color like gray. To apply your lightweight spackle or your fake frosting mixture, you are going to need some wooden popsicle sticks. And the technique I decided to do is just by using the popsicle sticks and scraping it down. As I go along, it kind of creates lines and different textures throughout the piece. So keep in mind there's many different ways to apply your fake spackle, but this is the way that I did for most of my tiers on my three tiered cake. Another tip for when applying your frosting, if you find it hard to go all the way around it without touching it, I like to use some dowels and cut them and then stick them in the bottom of my styrofoam so that I can use the dowels to hold onto while I spin the cake around and finish frosting. This is how my fake frosting turned out, and once you are done frosting it all the way around, just remove the dowels from the bottom, set it down on some parchment paper, and then use your extra fake frosting to just spread on the top to cover the top part of the styrofoam. Now back to my tiered gingerbread cake in the same way that I just demonstrated on my other piece of styrofoam. I did the same white frosting technique on the smallest piece and then using the same technique again I did more of a gingerbread color and then I also made some more of the white fake frosting and the pink fake frosting. Then I put those into piping bags with round tips and kind of piped diagonally kind of more of a pink peppermint pattern on the bottom or largest piece of styrofoam. Once you finish piping your base coats on your styrofoam to your cake pieces, then you're going to want to let it dry for 24 hours before going and decorating it. So now that I'm moving along to the decorations a day later, I'm going to be piping a thick cable knit pattern on my white top tier. So in order to do that, again, I mixed my paint and lightweight spackle mixture for the fake frosting, and then I started piping on a braid, which means you pipe one diagonally, and then you start again and pipe the other line diagonally right above where your other line ended, and you just repeat this process till you have a braided texture. So after I have my large braids going all the way around, I also switched over to a smaller piping bag with the same spackle mixture, and then I continued my cable knit pattern. This is the piping tip that I used to continue the pattern, which is actually just a three Wilton tip. So I squeezed my leftover mixture into that bag with the smaller tip and then I continued piping the braids. This time I piped one of the smaller braids in between the larger braids. And then on the left side, I piped some polka dots and on the right side, I just piped a line as you can see here. And then I continued this mini pattern in between each of my large braids. Just trust the process with this pattern because I am assuring you once it's all piped on, you will have the appearance and effect of a knit blanket.
this is how the cable knit cake tier came out and I absolutely love it and I feel like it's perfect for this cake. I do believe every time that I do this pattern, it just brings the object I am making more of a cozy feel. And also, if you can tell, I had some of the extra white spackle mixture over and I'm going to save that for the face on the gingerbread men, which we will do in a little bit. Now, also for the gingerbread man's face, we need to make a few other colors of fake frosting. So we're going to make pink and black. Again, the mixture is lightweight spackle mixed with paint. The paint color for the pink I used was the pink eraser from Apple Barrel. And then I just used plain black paint for the black mixture. As you can see here, I transferred my pink mixture just into a piping bag without a piping tip because I just cut a small piece off the bottom and I felt like that was sufficient instead of dirtying another piping tip. As for the piping tip on my black frosting, I did more of a round piping tip from Wilton. Regarding the black fake frosting mixture, I had to add a lot of black paint in order to get it to the color that I liked. But also if it gets too runny, remember you can add some baby powder or flour to stiffen it up and this is the tip that I used for the black frosting. So I'm just going to transfer this all into the piping bag and then I will have the three colors I need for the gingerbread face, which is the black, the pink, and the leftover white. We are going to start by taking the brown tier and just piping on some larger black circles with the black fake frosting. I will also be using the black fake frosting to pipe on the mouth for the gingerbread men. And as for the cheeks, I am going to use my pink mixture and just do little dollops on each end of the mouth. Backtracking to the eyes, I feel like they needed a little more detail just to make them more complete instead of just a plain black circle on the face. So I used the white spackle to pipe on little highlight areas in the eye and then I also took the white spackle to do a zigzag pattern at the top of the tear. After all of your tiers have been decorated, it is time for the assembly. So I cut down some skewers that I was going to stick in the bottom tier. I did about five of them. The purpose of these is just to support all the rest of the tiers so they don't fall off. So once I lined up the gingerbread's head on the skewers, I pressed it down onto the bottom tier. And then I also did the same with the middle tier. So I added about four skewers in the head of the gingerbread and then I slid right on my cable knit top tier. Your bases should be touchable, but if you haven't waited another 24 hours after decorating, your decorations will still be more pruned to being dented, so just be careful when you are attaching the layers. Now we are going to make some more of the white fake frosting mixture using some lightweight spackle in the snow white paint from Apple Barrel. So I'm going to be using this frosting to put in between all of my tiers because when you add this in between all of your tiers, this fake frosting mixture kind of acts as a bonding agent to hold all the tiers together and this is the tip I'm using it's a really pretty star tip so after transferring all of my fake frosting into the piping bag we are going to begin piping on our cake Once you have all of your fake frosting ready, you are also going to need some fake gumdrops. I just made these in a recent video that I will link for you guys down below if you guys would like to make some homemade fake gumdrops as well. So basically for the process of piping on the borders, all I did is add dollops of the fake frosting and then in the middle of each of the dollops, I added a pattern of the fake gumdrops. So I'm just going to continue around all of the tiers and pizzazz it with some fake gumdrops and frosting.
make sure when adding your bottom layer of frosting and gumdrops that you do it on a piece of parchment paper so you don't ruin the surface that you are working on and then after 24 hours of the frosting mixture hardening you will be able to just peel off the parchment paper and then continue to decorate guys enjoyed this simple tutorial on how to make the fake bake gingerbread three-tiered cake I'm actually going to be selling this on my Etsy shop which I will leave a link in the description my shop is called the curly crafter cakes so make sure to go check it out and if you like my fake gingerbread cake give this video a big thumbs up subscribe down below stay tuned for tomorrow craftness day 8 and I'll see you guys then bye everyone